The Earth in all its grandeur holds a treasure trove of geological wonders, among them is rhodochrosite, a mineral as captivating as its name suggests. Imagine a stone, not just pink, but a vibrant, almost luminous raspberry hue. This is rhodochrosite, a feast for the eyes, a rarity coveted by collectors. Rhodochrosite's beauty is amplified by its scarcity, particularly in its most prized form well-defined crystals. These are not easily found, they are the result of specific geological processes, a delicate dance of elements over millennia. Each crystal, a testament to time and circumstance, holds within its structure a story of its creation. This captivating mineral, often found as massive formations, occasionally graces us with its crystalline splendor. These crystals, ranging from small points to larger, intricate structures, are what truly capture the imagination. They beckon us to delve deeper, to unravel the mysteries locked within their rosy depths. Rhodochrosite, a manganese carbonate mineral, embodies a harmonious blend of elements. Its chemical formula, MnCO3, reveals the key component manganese, responsible for its striking pink hues. But the story doesn't end there. The formation of rhodochrosite is a tale intricately woven with the Earth's geological processes. Picture, if you will, hot, mineral-rich fluids coursing through cracks and fissures deep within the Earth's crust. These hydrothermal fluids, often associated with volcanic activity, carry dissolved manganese and carbonate ions. As these fluids cool, a wondrous transformation begins. The dissolved manganese and carbonate ions, no longer stable in the cooling solution, begin to crystallize. They bond together, atom by atom, forming the intricate lattice structure of rhodochrosite crystals. This process, occurring over vast stretches of time, is fundamental to the creation of many mineral treasures, including our beloved pink gem. The formation of gem-quality rhodochrosite crystals is a testament to the precise interplay of ideal geological conditions. It's a delicate balance, a recipe with little room for error. First and foremost, a rich source of manganese is essential, the lifeblood of our pink gem. But that's not all. The hydrothermal fluids, those subterranean architects, must be rich in carbonate ions as well. They provide the crucial building blocks, ensuring that manganese combines to form rhodochrosite rather than other manganese-bearing minerals. And then, there's the matter of time and space. The crystallization process, while seemingly simple, demands a stable environment over extended periods. Any sudden changes in temperature, pressure, or fluid chemistry can disrupt the delicate balance, leading to flawed or stunted crystal growth. It's these stringent requirements that make perfect rhodochrosite crystals a rare and precious commodity. Nestled high in the Colorado Rockies, the Sweet Home Mine stands as a testament to the captivating allure of rhodochrosite. This legendary mine, a mecca for mineral enthusiasts, has yielded some of the world's finest and most sought-after rhodochrosite specimens. What sets the Sweet Home Mine apart? It's a confluence of factors, a perfect storm of geological events that transpired millions of years ago. The region's volcanic past provided the necessary heat and mineral-rich fluids. Porous limestone formations offered ideal pathways for these fluids to circulate and deposit their precious cargo. But perhaps the most crucial ingredient was time. Over eons, slow, undisturbed crystallization within the mine's depths gave rise to rhodochrosite crystals of exceptional size, clarity, and color intensity. The Sweet Home Mine, a treasure trove of pink wonder, stands as a testament to the Earth's ability to create beauty beyond compare. 